So this is my store. This is my store. Wait, 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 wait. No. This is my store. After watching this video, you will be able to build a shop page just like this with filters, search, clean, responsive grid, all for free without writing a single line of code. I'll show you exactly how to do it using free plugins. And by the way, this video is sponsored by our own plugin, Malcare. It's the most complete security tool for your WordPress website. And I'll leave a link below where you can try the free plan. So let's get started. The very first thing you need to do is make sure WooCommerce and Elementor are installed and updated to the latest version. WooCommerce is the plugin that actually powers your online store. It creates your products, cart and checkout. Elementor is the visual page builder we'll use to design the shop layout. Next, you will need WooLenter, also called ShopLenter. This plugin connects WooCommerce with Elementor so you can design every part of your shop page visually. Finally, you will need Woof, which stands for WooCommerce Product Filter. Woof adds the sidebar filters, categories, attributes like size, all color, price, sliders, and even a search box. Once everything is installed, head over to WooLenter in your WordPress sidebar and click on Settings. Under the Elementor tab, you will see a list of all the widgets WooLenter gives you. Turn on Product Archive Layout, Product Grid, and the elements like Title, Price, and Add to Cart. These are the building blocks we we'll use in Elementor. Don't forget to scroll down and click Save. Now let's actually build a shop page. In the sidebar, click WooLenter again and choose Template Builder. Add a new template and select Product Archive or Shop as the type. In WordPress language, Archive just means a collection of products. So this one template controls your main shop page as well as category pages like shoes or hoodies. Give the template a name like Custom Shop and click Edit with Elementor. Elementor will open with a blank canvas. Click the plus icon and choose a two column layout. Adjust the columns so the left one takes up about a quarter of the width and the right one about three quarters. The left column will hold the filters and the right column will show the exact products. Let's configure the filters first. In your dashboard, go to WooCommerce Settings Product Filter. You'll see a list of filters already available. Enable the ones you need. For example, filter by category, filter by attributes like size or color, or a price slider. You can also add rating filters or a search box. Scroll down, click Save, then go to the Options tab and turn on features like Show Count or Dynamic Recount so customers see how many products match their filters. Save again. Back in Elementor, drag a short code widget in the left column and paste woof. That instantly adds the Husky filter we just set up. In the right column, search for the WooCommerce Products widget and drop it in. This will show all your products. In its settings, set the number of columns, I'll go with 4, and enable pagination sorting and result count. Under Query, keep the source as manual selection but leave the fields empty so it pulls in all products. Now let's style the grid. Change the title color to a dark. Adjust the price styling to make it stand out. Open the box settings and give each product card a 25 pixel border radius, 10 pixels of padding and a soft shadow. This makes them look modern and polished. Reduce the columns to 3 so the products have more space. Publish the page. We're not done yet. Go back to WooLenter Settings, WooCommerce Template. Under Product Shop Page Template, choose the custom shop we just made. Do the same for Product Archive Page Template. Save it. Go back to Elementor and add the WL Product Filter to the right side and publish the page. Now, whenever someone visits your shop page, it will load with this new design. Let's test it. Open your shop page. You should see products on the right and filters on the left. Try clicking on a category or dragging the price slider. The products update instantly. Perfect. To make the page more engaging, let's add a recommended product section. In Elementor, add a new container under the grid. Insert a heading. 
You may also like center it and add some padding. Then drag in Woolen Tours Universal Product Layout widget. Set four columns and under query choose featured products. In content settings, pick a style you like. Hide categories for a cleaner look. For action buttons, set them to appear on hover and place them wherever fits your theme. Publish the page and test it. You'll see the quick view working perfectly. Before wrapping up, let's make it responsive. In Elementor, switch to tablet view and reduce the grid to two columns. Do the same for the recommended product section. Now go to the advanced section and change the padding to this. On mobile views, adjust the padding on the sides so everything has room to breathe. Set it to one column so each product is easy to browse and tap. And that's it. You now have a custom WooCommerce shop page built with Elementor, ShopLentor and Woof. You've got filters, search, a clean product grid, recommendations and full responsiveness, all with free plugins, no code needed. Click here if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're going to love it. Click here and I'll see you there.